town behind the traffic in the street on the moor you'll find there's grass beneath your feet the story so far Debbie and Kieran had gone with Stripey across the moor. Norman followed the pieces of paper they'd left, but it was a windy day and he soon lost the trail. He came across two men who said they were from the RSPCA. You haven't seen any suspicious looking characters about, have you? No, I haven't seen anyone at all. We better be moving on then. Come on, Mr. Barker, let's go. You do see anybody who looks as if they might be after the ponies. You ring the RSPCA. Right. I'll keep my eyes open. That's a good boy. The white pony stood still and let Norman stroke him. He'd forgotten he was lost. Hey, look. Wait a minute. The van disappeared around a bend. find the trail again. He looked all round and saw a piece of paper where the van had started. There it is. Great. Barker and Deal. Livestock import and export. No, that's no good. It must belong to the RSPCA men. Now what? Better try this way. Right. That'll do, Norman. Norman! Oh, no. Norman! I bet I know which way to go now. Where do you think, then? Over there. No, oh, it isn't, Badger Girl. It's that way, isn't it, Mr North? You're both wrong. It's over that ridge. Oh. Now you can see why it's not a good idea to wander around on your own, huh? We don't know what you're doing. Could be lost for days on this moor. Stripey finds his way all right, though. Mm, Stripey uses his sense of smell. Besides, he's lived here all his life. Not like you. Come on. I hope Norman's all right. On another part of the moor, the two men with the white van were driving to meet someone. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Barker. Bit of bother at the farm. You haven't seen any kids wandering about, have you? Kids? We've seen nothing but kids. Two of them down by the woods there, and another up on the hill. I don't like it. Calm down, Mr. Deal. How about uh, our little scheme, Mick? Oh, that's all fine, Mr. Barker. Sorting you out a nice little bunch. I'll let you know tomorrow for definite. Usual way? Usual way. Excellent, Mick. You're worth your weight in... Uh... Ponies, eh? <laughs> That's pretty good, that, eh, Mr. Deal? <laughs> Norman was really lost by now. It was dark in the wood and getting darker. This path has got to go somewhere. Don't panic, Norman. What's that? Who's there? Oh, Stripey. Am I glad to see you. Wait for me. Stripey trotted off and Norman followed. <laughs> oh, hello, Jane. Hello, word watchers. I wonder what Jane's doing. Jane, what are you doing? Oh, Wordy, hello. I'm looking at the picture Kieran drew of Barker and Deal. That's Barker, the bald one. Mm-hmm. 
He looks like a crook to me. They both do. Norman thought they were good RSPCA men. Well, Norman usually knows what's what. But I bet he didn't have a book about crooks. I say, have you noticed there's an uh around? An uh? Yes, it's that O-O sound in book and good and crook. Type O-O and you'll see what I mean. I'm Francis Drake and I'm looking for a lake. But all I've found is that O-O sound. Ooh, ooh. It's all around. I took a look in a book. And there was oh oh, ooh, oh oh, ooh. then I stood in a wood, and there was oh oh, ooh, oh oh, ooh. in the book where I looked, in the wood where I stood, there was oh oh, ooh, ooh. it's all around. I shook a crook, and there was oh oh, ooh, oh oh, ooh. then I stood on his foot, and there was oh oh, ooh, oh oh. Ooh. In the book where I looked, in the wood where I stood, in the crook that I shook, in the foot where I stood, there was oh oh. Ooh, ooh. It's all around. It's everywhere. And that's good. Francis Drake in trouble again. He should have stuck to cream teas. Still, he did find the lake in the end. It was silly of him to wander off like that. He's as bad as Norman. He was always getting lost. Like that day he met Barker and Deal. There was no harm done that time, but he was lucky. So were Debbie and Kieran. Oh, well. I'd better go and see how Barney is. I want to hear all about his visit from the RSPCA man. Oh. Into? Hello, Barney. Did the RSPCA man come? He did, and I was able to tell him everything he wanted to know about barn owls. Are you sure he was an RSPCA man? Yes, he was wearing an RSPCA uniform, and he told me all about his work. Oh, uh, like um, rescuing cats from trees? Cats from trees? You must be out of your tiny mind, Jane. Cats don't live in trees. Oh, I was no, a he has a very joking. important and difficult job. Uh, you want to forget about cats in trees and find out what an RSPCA inspector really does. <laughs> oh, dear. Barney's in a huff with me again. I pretended I didn't know what RSPCA men do. Oh, I wonder if the word watchers know. Uh, just put in that cassette, Jane. This one? Yes. The RSPCA looks after animals which are unwanted or have been mistreated and helps them in several ways. First, there are clinics and hospitals where people can bring animals to be seen by a vet. That's an animal doctor. This cat was shot with an air rifle. But there are also RSPCA inspectors who can travel to cases which need them. Roger Help London, I'm on my way to Waltham Abbey, but I will get there as soon as possible and deal with it. Many thanks, over. An inspector has brought this crane to an animal hospital. Can't stand for it, just no. can't stand at all. It flew into some overhead electricity cables. Just the wings, can Inspectors often visit farms and riding stables to make sure animals are being properly looked after. Swans which swallow fishing tackle are a common problem. After a good rest, they can be sent back to the wild. Oh, do, do you remember what RSPCA stands for? Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. <laughs> yes. R, S, P, C and A are the first letters of the most important words. And the first letter of a word is called its initial. <laughs> Lots of things are only known by their initials, aren't they? Yes. 
Like BBC. TV. DD. What's DD? Dog detective. <laughs> He's still having trouble with that sound again. Perhaps Barney can help him. He is a bar now. He should know the noise in the barn then. Ah! Dog detective is chasing a oh, what a wonderful sound. When a farmer needs a guard, dog detectives around. There's a noise in the barn. It's that sound again. Now it's out in the yard. Hmm, it's that sound again. He's doing no harm, just guarding the farm. But it's that sound again. Something's there in the dark. No, no, it's that sound again. He's beginning to bark. <gasps> it's that sound again. He's doing no harm, just guarding the farm. But it's that sound again. Dog detective is chasing a oh, what a wonderful sound. When a farmer needs a guard, dog detectives around. <laughs> Smashing. Come on, let's have it again, word watchers. And you sing the missing words this time. Dog detective is chasing a oh, what a wonderful sound. When a farmer needs a guard, dog detectives around. There's a noise in the. It's that sound again. Now it's out in the. Hmm, it's that sound again. He's doing no harm, just guarding the farm. But it's that sound again. Something's there in the. No, no, it's that sound again. It's beginning to. <gasps> It's that sound again. He's doing no harm, just guarding the farm. But it's that sound again. Dog detective is chasing a oh, what a wonderful sound. When a farmer needs a guard, dog detectives around. <laughs> I think it's time for a nice cup of tea. Oh, good. I'm very fond of tea. What about playing me a song while I make it? Mmm, playing. Come on, Wordy, I'm waiting. What are you doing? I'm looking at all these words ending with ing. Let's get Bill the Bricky to show us how to build words with an ing. Words that end in ing usually mean it's happening. Why don't you build yourself a word? Build yourself a word with an ing To say it's happening Take a look at ing Build yourself a word All together now Looking, looking Take laugh at ing Build yourself a word All together now Laughing, laughing why don't you build yourself a word? Build yourself a word with an ing To say it's happening Yes, it's happening right now I'm working, I'm building, I'm building, I'm building That ing song certainly helped me while I was making this tea Now I'm drinking it Oh, Wordy, how rude of me Here's yours. Oh, thanks. I think we should be reading some more of the story. How did Norman find his way off the moor? Let's see. Hello, Norman. Where have you been? Did you get lost? Uh, no, of course not. I know what's what. Well, you were very lucky then. You're nearly back now. 
straight over that ridge. You'll see the farm from there. Thanks, Mr North. What about a cup of tea at the farm? No, oh, thank you, Debbie. I tell you, I'm not fond of people. I like animals best. But you can come and see me and the badger again if you like. I'll be getting back. Goodbye. <laughs> He seemed a funny sort of man to me. He's all right. He's the badger man. Got this smashing little house full of pictures and books of badgers. Looked like a suspicious character to me. Like a pony rustler. Pony rustler? I met two RSPCA men looking for pony rustlers. Maybe that's what your badger man does. Maybe he's a crook who steals animals. Pony rustlers? This is Dartmoor, mate, not the Wild West. Sheriff Norman, he shoots them with his little camera. You must be out of your tiny mind, Norman, or you're making it up. Which is it? You watch it, badger girl. I know what's what. There were two OSPCA men. They left this paper behind. Doesn't say anything on here about RSPCA. You are out of your tiny mind, Jules. Norman looked cross, and he put the paper in his pocket again. They set off for the farm. I can see the farm. We're home. But at breakfast next day, there was something interesting in the paper. It was about pony rustling. No, then. I didn't say much yesterday because I was so glad to see you back in one piece. And no harm done. But no more wandering off, please. Without telling anyone where you're going. All right, Mrs. Rudge. We'll be careful. Debbie? Kieran, are you listening to me? Yes, Mrs. Rudge. Can't we go out at all, then? I don't want to keep you cooped up. I don't mean that. I don't mind you going over Cross Thorway. You can see clear to the farm from there. But no further. All right? All right. Good. Mick, can I have a read of your paper when you finish with it? You can have it now if you like. I've got things to do. Hey, thanks, Mick. They grabbed the paper and ran to the barn to talk about it in secret. There you are. More ponies stolen. I told you I know what's what. I bet that badger man is the rustler. We ought to tell the RSPCA men. If they are RSPCA men. Let's see that piece of paper again. Barker and Dill. Mick works for a man called Barker. Let's ask him. Mick was in the yard working on his bike. He'd just been on one of his jobs for Mr. Barker. All right. Mick, is Mr. Barker in the RSPCA? Mr. Barker, in the RSPCA, uh, No, not exactly. Is he a bald man with a white van? Yeah, that's right. What about him? I saw him yesterday. He was telling me about pony rustling. Now listen, you kids. You forget about pony rustling. Mr. Barker was having a joke with you, Norman. You forget about ponies. You stick to your badgers. Got it? 